Okay, Kel in Korea with Pretty in Korea and our friend Bamyan. <laughs> so today we're just going to talk about some things that you guys have been asking us on Tumblr, and uh, we're going to try and get real with it. Go get real. <laughs> so let's do introductions. Uh, can you go first? So I'm Rini. I'm 24 years old, and I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And I'm currently living in Suwon, and I've been in Korea for about a year. How about you, Kelly? Um, my age is a secret, as many of you guys know already. <laughs> but um, I've been in Korea for about a year. I moved from San Diego, California, and this is my second time in Korea. I used to live in Japan. I was teaching there, and I came to Korea to visit because I loved it. Because I'm a K-pop fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bamyan. Um, Bamyan Kim. I'm 27 years old. I am a Korean citizen. I lived in the States, and I've been back four years. All right, let's just get into it. Dating in Korea. Mm -hmm. Dating Kelly's Korea. got a lot of questions. I've received a lot of questions. Yamhana will be our token Korean guy to answer some of those questions. I have a lot of questions. Oh, questions you have questions too? too? So, anyway. let's talk about our experiences dating in Korea because Kelly and I are both women of color. Both of us have different experiences with Korean guys. Um, Kelly, would you like to talk about your experiences first? Uh, can I pause this real fast? <laughs> Sorry about that. How to put a little side disclaimer. <laughs> okay, so uh, we were having this conversation about like dating in Korea. I get so many questions on Tumblr. Korean guys gonna love me. They gonna love me because I'm. They love my natural hair. Yeah, exactly. Big girls, small girls, skinny girls, Afro-Hispanic girls. I guess one of the most popular questions is. Are Korean guys into black girls? I think Kelly and I can speak for um, ourselves. And yeah, just, but I looked right in front of you. We look at it like, right? <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you have any Korean friends that, first of all, do you date black girls? <laughs> I can even keep a straight face asking that because I already know the answer. But Let me speak up. So, Bum Hyun, tell us about your experience with dating black girls. I only dated one black girl. Oh, okay. And it was kind of a... Uh, uh, was she watching this video? <laughs> yeah. Maybe she is. When did you know you liked her? First date, yes. First date. Where'd you meet? At a party in Utah. Okay. Say okay, what? Kind of picky. Oh, she did? Like, I was talking to her. I wasn't actually... See, this is the thing about dating here in Korea. Can I just sort of cut? A lot of the times, women have to do the first move. Because mm. Korean guys are like Annie's. They're tough. They're like wobbly and stuff when they're up. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Seriously. So, if a Korean person is going to date outside of their um, outside of their race, what what do you think the parents would rather than date? Obviously Korean. Obviously if they date outside of oh. their race. Uh, or ethnicity, like, culture, or whatever. So they prefer a white girl over a black girl. That's basically what we want to say. Yeah. So they would, yeah. I, I can believe that. Okay, but I read somewhere that, like, black women have a chance dating a Korean guy much faster than a white girl. And now I know you said that you didn't agree. You didn't agree with that. I don't agree with that either because I think white women are on a pedestal here. They're first in Sada. Korean men, when they fans like a woman, then what is it? Long hair, people do lines. I've seen it, I've witnessed it. I've yeah. They flock to those kind of women. But that doesn't mean that black women aren't on the list, like top list of everything. Never got a Korean guy. Yeah. Like, there's some Korean guys that only want black Because this is really like small numbers. So you told me in a passing conversation, I'm gonna bring this up, I'm sorry. <laughs> that yeah, you don't know this. You don't know this side of Bum. <laughs> I just can't <came> <laughs> I thought I knew you. Um, that 
Korean men didn't find. So one day, Bumyeon and I were talking about just like when I go to a club, you know, I be getting all the number, getting all the attention, whatever. And Bumyeon was shocked. <laughs> You don't remember this conversation? <laughs> he was totally shocked and he was like, oh, because I'm really shocked to hear you say that because I always hear Korean guys talk about how they don't like them. I think in general, I observe it when I go out. Yeah, that's what you said. You, yeah, you said something about like, you always see the black girls standing on the side looking at well, I don't, I don't, like pitiful. They don't get to come on. They don't get approached. Okay, I'll put those words in his mouth. <laughs> Okay, they don't get what? Okay, okay. As much. Mm -hmm. I thought that, I kind of, I feel like some black girls don't get approached a lot, but then I kind of agree with Kelly, it's all in your demeanor. Yeah, I agree with that. It's all in your demeanor. If you come off a little cold in Missouri, Korean guys are terrified. First of all, I gotta know that they're terrified. Before, like, they so if, are they gonna go for the fun, excited black girl at some dance and have a fun time, or are they gonna go for the quiet girl staying by herself? Well, the white girls that you saw getting approached, were they wallflowers or were they... In my opinion, the girl is good looking enough. She'll get approached, no matter what she's doing. See, that's what I think. That, see, and I can't agree with you on that. I think that if a girl is good looking, a dude, a dude's gonna holler. I don't dude think so. I think that the girl's extremely attractive. He's gonna be Unless he's liquored up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can agree on that too. But I think too, there's body language that goes on. You, if you're like you said, if you're ice queen, if you're just standing there, like, you mad? You gang banging on bacon? You angry? Like, just because <laughs> yeah, all day? Like, no dudes got approach you. You know what I'm saying? But if you're like, if you get a little eye contact, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I see you, boo. Yeah, I see you looking at no, me. No, but like, like come up to but you. in the club, you gotta have your guard up. Cause sometimes there's guys who just, you know, wanna get on you and off you. Okay, and. Let me just say, and they might come off high. Trying to meet quality dudes in a club, like, let's just be real. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm just saying, in Korea, it's hot out there. The struggle is real, okay? The struggle is real. Okay? You will not find Hunbin at the library at Yongsi University. You're going to find the Monkey Beach. They got soldiers back out there. So. That's where it's at here. So that's true. The night Korea life nightlife is popping. What Missy Elliott say in that song? Popping like some Crisco? A disco? Oh, Crisco! Nabisco! <laughs> so the last time we talked, we were talking about I said that I believe that any foreign woman coming here can get a Korean boyfriend. Now, any. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you have seen some of the girls that I've seen running around with opas, then any girl can get a boyfriend. But some girls, I mean, have ridiculously <laughs> high standards. Like, I have high standards. She has high standards. I have high standards, but I feel for, we talked about this, in terms of dating black women, there are two groups of black women in this country. And this, in terms of dating black women, there are two groups of black women in this country. One Just group spit is, it out, girls. Spit one out. kind of group is only socially acceptable, and I really hate saying this. If you're an attractive black woman, you're in the category that's up there with the white girls. And if you look more stereotypically African, or you're more really obese, or maybe if you wear your hair naturally, because like a lot of girls that wear braids and those reds get a lot of side eyes here, and you know people insult them on their hair. Some people compliment them as well, but I think if you look like Beyonce, or if you look like any other pop. Um, Idol, black female, singer, Amory, Kel Kelly Bowen, um, the whole lot. If you look like those kind of women, I feel like your dating experience here will be a lot more easier than yeah, a woman easier, that per se sure. looks like precious. <laughs> <laughs> I See, that's, the thing. that's the thing. I think all women are beautiful. All women are beautiful. But in Korea, this is the land of plastic yeah. surgery, size zero, Eurocentric features, and V line shapes. Okay, so I feel like if you're an attractive black woman, your experiences here will be a little bit better than a woman that's not conventionally pre. In Korean standards. I'm not talking about universal standards. I'm talking about Korean standards. So that's something I have to get off my chest. I mean, shade, shade, shade. They're like, I'm the Beyonce. Kofi.
three weeks. Don't worry about a thing. Good job. Lower. Lower.